How's it going, star goers? So, um, today I got a pretty good video for you. Uh, the traffic. I'm outside in this lovely weather. Uh, it's a little cloudy today. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's been great. Um, it's, I think, about 65 out here today. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do review and kind of cross comparison of the new uh celestron 114 lcm i still need to figure out what lcm stands for um and the older telescope that we were using to take pictures the uh 114 from uh national geographics so if you're interested in anything like that telescopes astrophotography the good the bad and the ugly of the new sc scope Stick around. Um, I do have a disclaimer. Uh, actually, two disclaimers. Sorry, let me get back into the light here. Um, the <laughs> telescope you just saw me dorkily running with was the old telescope, not the new $400 telescope. And also, the intro that's about to happen is really loud. I cannot figure out to uh, how to... Uh, tone down the volume so uh turn your volume down for the intro and i do apologize if you have any tips uh on how to all right welcome back to the video guys and gals so this again is the whoop in there this is the so, uh, National Geographic's 114 telescope. So I actually lied and had my, um, specs mixed up on this scope when I first introduced it. Um, I was saying that the focal length was 114 millimeters. I was wrong. Um, it is actually, um, hold on. I'm going to mess with camera settings a little bit here. I want to, okay, that just does it. Okay. Um. Anyway, so the actual focal length is 465 millimeters. Pretty good. So the actual aperture is what is the 114. It's the same on this scope here. So that's, uh, you know, not... Let me actually let you look at it here. So, yeah, this one has an aperture of 114 millimeters, which... A about I think it's 4.5 inches but the deal is and I'm not sure how they've gone and done it but this one is double the focal length of the National Geographic this one is a thousand millimeters or so they say um, the obvious comparison that I really like for them is that this one has the Celestron go-to mount and this one is manual um, so I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or anything like that, but let me know if you guys have a problem with the star, uh, star sense alignment. Um, I found that for me, for some reason it does not work. Um, but the two star alignment option does. Unfortunately, I won't be able to show you guys how to do that tonight because as I was saying, it's rather cloudy out and we're actually supposed to be getting rain now again i corrected myself in the last video but this telescope is 21 pounds uh when accumulated not uh 42 i was way off um the only other thing i don't have it on at the moment that i really don't like about this actually there's two things um as you can see the uh, spreader bar plate i don't have it on like i said doesn't have the holes that this one does to store your eyepieces. Now this one here is the 26 plossel from this telescope. And the Celestron comes with a 25, it says K25 millimeter. I'm not sure what the K means. But yeah, it comes with a 25 millimeter and a 9 millimeter. And the only other thing I don't like is the height. This thing, um, 
doesn't come up high enough. I really like it when, here, I'll see if I can give you a comparison here, when telescopes are about this height because it just makes it so much easier to look into here as opposed to this one, which is only this tall and you really have to bend over. Now, I'm not a tall guy. I am actually only like five foot five. And this thing I have to bend over to look into, and it's kind of a pain. Um, as far as astrophotography goes, is this a great astrophotography telescope? No, uh, due to the fact that it is a um, alt azimuth mount, so it go it moves in up and down, right and left instead of um, a crescent shape uh, like the stars do at night. Um, will I be turning this into an astrophotography uh, telescope? Yes. Um, I will be getting the Celestron wedge. I'm not quite sure actually if it'll work with this mount. I know it's for the, um, basically the older brother of, or the big brother of the uh, Next Star series. Um, I forget what it's called. All right, now... You may see this crack right here. Um, sad story, I actually dropped this telescope last night. I took it out of where I was storing it with the legs kind of closed and thought, okay, it'll just stand there by itself while I go get the eyepieces. And of course it fell over. Luckily, this right here was the only piece that broke. And I'll, as you can see, I've got it glued back together. Um, let's talk, let's uh, talk while we're on it about the eyepieces. Um, this is a lot of talking. Wow. <laughs> Never done this much talking on a YouTube video. Um, I really like the, uh, eyepiece for this. Um, it's a lot better than this one. Um, being that this was a, what is it, uh, referred to as like a, a trash scope or something like that. Um, I forget the actual terminology, but, um, yeah, so when you turn the correction screws, shall we call them, for the um, finder scope, it doesn't actually move anything, um, as I found out. It, it doesn't do anything, so you're just kind of stuck with what you got. Um, this one, on the other hand, right off the bat, the up and down pieces, they actually move, and uh, it's really nice. The, um, I do keep forgetting to turn this off, so, you know, make sure when you get, if you get one of these scopes, do turn it off. <sighs> Traffic. Yeah, make sure you keep turning it off when you're done with it and all that kind of stuff. Um, I need to realign them because, like I said, I accidentally dropped it. It fell over. Um, but yeah, um, it's a really good build quality. I particularly like um, how, like, as you can see, these ones over here, I do, these are made of, like, the, uh, what, um, struggling for words here, let me, whoops, sorry, let me pull you guys out here, um, the focus tubes, these are made of plastic, well, I do believe these ones are made out of aluminum, like, that kind of a, they could have just gone with plastic on these, and... Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're aluminum. Uh, like, that's a really nice touch that I like from the build quality. It's a lot more in detail type of deal. Um, the legs are a lot more substantial, so if you accidentally do something to it, they're not going to bend or break like these ones might um, if I were to really drop it. Uh... But anyway, yes, yeah, so next video I will be showing you guys hopefully how to use uh, the keypad for this, how to align it, and how to uh, probably, what I should probably do before then is culminate it again. Well, I actually haven't done it, but it's, I would assume they send them pre-culminated or something along those lines. But yeah, I need to realign the scope and the finder scope and probably should culminate it before the next video. Um, if you guys want to see 
me culminating this, then let me know in the comments section below. Uh, we will definitely be getting more and better pictures of the moon and hopefully the planets uh, and all that kind of stuff in the future. But again, you know, I, I'm really enjoying this scope for what I've gotten to use it for. So, yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications so you can see more if you enjoyed this video. Um, and, you know, just let me know in the comments what else you would like to see. And as always, enjoy your journey through this big galaxy.